Hello guys and welcome to another Grease Pencil Modifiers tutorial. This one is inspired by a tutorial by Dante to do a matrix effect and I will adapt that effect to make snow with modifiers using only one Grease Pencil line. So this is a background that I created and you can download for free from my Gumroad. Go ahead and do it and you can follow along with this tutorial. Let's stop the playback. Let's go to frame one and you may also want to disable auto keying so that you don't add keyframes accidentally when the playhead is in a different frame and i'll go here i'm in object mode i will do shift a and create a new grease pencil object let's rename it to snow and then go here again do control tab and choose draw mode now i want to select my line tool here and select a stroke material it is better to use a special material for the snow maybe create a new material let's delete this material from this object and add a new one new again let's choose stroke line solid and turn this to white now you have to decide if the snow will go vertically or if you want to rotate it and make it go like this to simulate somehow the wind if you want to just make it vertically you will draw the line here and create a rectangle that just surrounds the camera frame but if you want to rotate you need to have a bigger area you need to create a big square so that when you rotate it later you don't get empty space in the corners why it matters because the bigger the area the slower the computing will be and it may slow your computer quite a lot I will do something intermediary maybe here so that I can rotate my snow just slightly so let's draw a line here and let's hit shift to constrain the line horizontally I can use F to change the thickness but we will also be able to change the thickness using modifiers so now I can do middle mouse button or enter and create my line the reason the line doesn't appear white is because it is outside of the camera frame and maybe also because of it being affected by light so you can go here under object and under visibility and disable use lights and now white will be always white so back to camera view zero and I'll go to the modifiers panel and add an array modifier change x here to zero play with the z here you see that it's very slow so i think it's better to use constant offset instead let's turn this to zero to disable relative offset enable constant offset and try with the z again now i can add more lines until i cover all the area here and we get a window effect and then create a subdivide modifier to create more points in our lines so tab here we are in edit mode a to select everything and you see that the subdivide modifier added more points here and if you increase this number you will create more and more let's do tab again to go back to draw mode we can add a dot dash modifier change this dash to one so that we get points instead of dashes and the gap maybe to two and we get this so we already got some snow i will add a noise modifier you see here randomize is enabled and the steps are at four if you get it to less than four you will get a smoother animation but you get a very fast snow let's try to play this looks like the snow is going sideways so maybe you should do just like dante does change the position of this modifier to before the dot dash and now we have snow going down now let's increase the strength variation that means the opacity variation and the thickness variation and then we need to increase the noise scale so that we don't get a whole line of one size of snow so we change the noise scale to one two and we get this we already got our effect and we can increase the position randomness more this is in the matrix effect at zero so that we have evenly spaced dots but for snow we need this maybe at one and we get this now i will add a thickness modifier if you want a less thick snow you lower this and if you want more you increase this i think i will keep it like this and then we will add some blur then i will add the offset modifier and i will add some randomness i think it's under advanced yes mod random and i want to create some offset some randomness in the x-axis so that we get rid of these straight lines that we see here so let's increase the x a little bit and we have this and now you see that we have some glitches most likely because of space fight i don't know how it's called but basically it means that there are two objects on top of each other and each of them is fighting for visibility sometimes one of the objects is visible sometimes the other one is to fix this you need to select your objects in object mode and to move it a little bit forward so you do g y and move it just a little bit forward 
like this back to camera view and now it's fixed let's disable overlays and we have this so now we go to the effects panel and always remember that the effects only appear in render preview mode this mode here they don't appear here that's why here you can see the blur on the trees and the background so back here and we add a blur effect for the snow you may increase it to 100 maybe now we can rotate a little bit so you can either do that with the modifiers with the offset modifier you go here not under random but under general and under rotation y axis the axis that goes from front to back and that way you can rotate like this or you can just rotate the grease pencil objects in the viewport you do r for rotate and y and you can rotate like this too back to camera view the zebra overlays again i only wish that we got the possibility to have smoother snow without having to have the step at four this means that the snow will change every four frames let's try it at every one frame now it's too fast it's very very fast i wish that there was a way to make it go slower and lastly i just figured out that if you move the offset modifier before the noise modifier the effect is much smoother and you can increase the x offset a little bit more like this so sometimes you need to experiment with the ordering of the modifiers this is a guys get the starting file and final file from gumroad if you didn't go watch dante's matrix tutorial i also have a matrix tutorial that you may want to check everything is in the description thank you for watching see you in another video and peace